yes, 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 yes. It's that time. It's that time. Jeannie, you with me, Queen? I'm there. What's up? Oh, man, man. It's going to be a wonderful night. It's going to be a wonderful night. Yes, 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 yes. This is for those listening who don't know, who might not have seen the promo. If you didn't, this is uh, the debut, the debut of Tone Tone Deaf Radio, newest show, His and Hers, starring. <laughs> I say starring. You know, they normally say uh, the host. We're going to say starring. <laughs> Starring the Queen Genie and the King Cal. We we yes. in the building, man. Yes, yes, yes. Excited. Oh yes, 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 definitely, definitely. So Jeannie, for those who, who um, you know, don't know the dynamic of the show or you know, you wanna you wanna um break it down to our listeners the dynamic of his and hers? Of course. So I mean, it's very obvious. His and hers is definitely about his perspective and her perspective on different topics, um, all kinds of things, not just relationships, just things in general. But tonight, it happens to Ooh. be about relationships. Yes. <laughs> but, um, yes. Um, you can get a different perspective um, because sometimes women, you know, we have our view on things, and it's good to hear a male perspective. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. We all, you know, you know, it's that Venus versus Mars thing, you know, but we definitely have, uh, you know, good points and good views on a lot of things. So it's going to be very interesting. You know, we're we're not we're not just appealing to the men or we're not just appealing to the women. We're appealing to both. And, yeah. you know, so it's going to be definitely, definitely, definitely real good. And um, like Jeannie said, to, um, tonight's show. Well, Jeannie, I'll let you tell them that as well. What's, what's, what's the topic for tonight? What are we talking to them about? Tonight's topic is an amazing topic, I think, because I think that, uh, well, let me just tell you guys the topic. The topic is healing after infidelity. And I think this topic is so important because, you know, a lot of women say that it's double standards. A lot of men, uh, you know, say it's a deal breaker. And I think as grown-ups, as grown folks, we need to put this conversation on the table and really talk about it, you know, and get a perspective from both sides on what really, really is the issue and why people can't, why is it okay for a woman to think that women can move on after infidelity, but it's not okay for a man? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Phone line's going to be jumping on this one. We're going to get a lot of inboxes, a lot of emails. <laughs> we're going to get a lot of that. Oh, God. Yo, Tone, we, we apologize early, man, but we're going to get a lot of <laughs> a lot of feedback. I'm going to hear what people have to say. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So, I mean, yeah, let's 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 dive right into it. Let's dive right into it. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a king, and I, I respect the queen, so I'm going to let the queen go first. No, give your views on it. Huh? no, 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 you not set me up, bro. Mm-mm. <laughs> no, no. I'm the Lord, Lord, baby boy. Lord, Lord. Oh, this is okay. being a gentleman, you know, trying no, to, you know. No, no. This is 20, 2018. Um, I'm okay. Go ahead. <laughs> you okay? You good? <laughs> You good? I, I, you ain't gonna smack me in the back of the head, you know, for jumping in front of you or nothing like that. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Well, you know, I'll, I'll step up first to give my views. Um, healing after infidelity. Wow. I mean, that's that's it's a challenge. I mean, I feel personally like after that, you're gonna have to put some work in now. Am I open arms to taking you back right away? It depends. I'm not going to say I'm open arms to it. I mean, my first initial thought, I'm like, oh, no, it's over. It's done. You mean to tell me somebody else didn't have a, 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 somebody else got to taste my peach? Somebody else got to go in my waters? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't double dip. I don't double dip after nobody. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's my first initial thought as a man, you know, because 
you know, you know, Jeannie, the first thing, the man ego is so huge, okay. you know, so to, 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 to come to terms that somebody else was, you know, game was wrapped tight. Somebody else had that, had that right number for the night and things went down. Oh God, we, we we're, we're destroyed. I'm not even going to stand here in front. I'm not, I'm not going to throw yo, we, our ego is bruised badly. <laughs> badly. See? So, yeah, it's bruised, man. Like that, yo, that really fucks us up, man, GD. That really, we be like, it's like Superman, you know, the kryptonite then hit Superman. You be, you be weak. You be emotional. You go through all kinds of things. I'll be honest. A lot of men, you know, you got a lot of men that's too big to admit that, but nah, I ain't. I'm 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 very honest and that shit fucks us up. So first initially, I say that all that to say. First initial thought is nah, this is done. Get out my house. Get out my face. I don't want nothing to do with you. You know that's the first initial thought. But then as if if we have history, we have kids, we have a family. You know, um, I would be open to try to make it work, but. You got to be willing to put that work in too. I mean, because that's the trust is broken after that. So I don't trust a lot of people. So those that I do trust, I hold near and dear. And when that trust is broken, it's it's it's, it's kind of hard to you know get it back right. So I you know my answer is I wouldn't outrule it, but okay. it it you know it's it's gonna it's gonna definitely come with with um. It's gonna come with some work. You're gonna to have to put that work in. And if you're not willing to put that work in, then it's it's just a done deal for me. That that's the that's what would determine to me if it's a done deal or not. If you yourself not willing to put that work in, then it, it, it's a done deal. You might as well keep it pushing, and I'll move on. Okay, that's. I mean, that's. I I think that's fair. But I just have a question to ask you. And, oh yes. Um, when you say put the work in, do mm-hmm. you think? that the reason why most people step out is because people are not putting work in. So <laughs> I'm mm. saying most mm. of the time, the reason why people step out is because they feel neglected. They, you mm-hmm. know, they're not being, um, you know, valued in their relationship. So when you mm-hmm. tell somebody, okay, you stepped out and I'm being in general, I'm not talking about men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Out because Okay, let's just say I stepped out because you were neglecting me. I didn't feel love. I spoke to you about it. I constantly, you know, tried to make it work. And, you know, circumstances, sometimes you just can't get up and leave. Like you said, children, people have families, but they step out because they feel, you know, undervalued and taken for granted. Right. So now, now you're telling me that after I felt that way, because Mm -hmm. I cheated, or I stepped out. Now I gotta put work in. <laughs> I think that's the stupidest shit I ever heard. In my life. <laughs> listen, if you stepped out, regardless of what, nah. I, I, and I listen, if you stepped out, that mean I, cause I take it like this. If you the re, if you stepped out, regardless, okay, we was going through something. Uh, you didn't feel that I was valuing you. You know, you ain't feel that. You know, I was I was loving you the same. You made the choice to step out. That wasn't the only choice you could have made. You could have made the choice to come to me and, and, and communicate with me and, and make me see why I'm not making you happy at this particular time in the relationship. But you didn't make that choice. Your choice was to step out. So now coming back and I am given the option like, okay, I'm not going to just straight shut you down we could work on it. Now you got to put that work in to even get me to the, what I say, we got to put that work in. You got to put that work in as far as to get me to trust you again. Now you made a good point as far as when people step out, it's for a reason, especially when a woman step out. Exactly. I, I, I'm, man, I'm man enough to admit that. But I was about yeah. to say to you, everything that you were saying up until that point, I could agree with but I mm-hmm. will say, speaking now, I'm going to speak for her. I'm going to okay. speak for my women. Okay. And, and okay. When, when now, now it's now we're rolling right now. Now we're rolling. Okay. Because 
speaking from a woman's perspective. First of okay. all, women, before they cheat on you, they give you numerous warnings, not one, especially mm-hmm. if it's a male son. Not one, mm-hmm. not not three, not four. I mean, like, mm-hmm. we you the warning signs. Like, yo, bro, you're playing a dangerous game. We sit mm-hmm. down, we talk, we cry, we do mm-hmm. everything to get you to understand. Please don't push me because I'm close to the edge. <laughs> oh, she went, she went Curtis Blow on us. She went Curtis we Blow on us. <laughs> I say that to say, like, mm-hmm. you know, most men will say, like, oh, man, I didn't see it coming. Nigga, you's a liar. <laughs> a liar. Because it was there, plain in your face, like I told you. Like, I know women that will straight up, you know, in my heyday, will straight uh-huh. up tell the dude, bruh, I'm not talking about you. Like, you, you really understand you know, mm-hmm. so that being said, like it's it, you know, so it's no excuse for you not to listen. And I think the problem is the communication because some men think that they get to a point where they got their woman, especially if a woman shows love and shows like you know you right. all about you. They get to a point where right. it's like yeah, got it like that. No, you never got it like that. Anybody could get got at any minute. I you know what. I'm man enough to agree with that. I definitely agree that a lot of times as men, we could not see the signs. And we, you know, because we're so caught up into, nah, it can't happen to me. She ain't about to do that. You know, she ain't about to do this or do so. I could agree with that. Yes, yes. A lot of times we don't see the signs or whatever. But what I will say to that, though, is cheating is still never condoned. Regardless of even if he's not seeing the signs, and I say this as a man, knowing that men, a lot of times we know, or whatever, still will go cheat if he's not getting what he's getting, or whatever. And you but know, that's so not the conversation, Cal. We know but, it's not condoned, but the shit happens every day. It happens, right? <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just talking. I see that. That's the, that's the male ego side talking. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? The conversation, the conversation <laughs> is, we know it's, it's wrong. It's so far. We know all of that. Yada yada yeah. yada. Okay. Yes, but we're yes, talking yes. about when it does happen. Why does yeah. it happen, and what do we do after it happens? Because to me, well, to me uh-huh. let me tell you what I feel. What most okay. what I know that okay. most women don't feel, and and mm-hmm. we should feel. It's okay. not the cheating. It's what happens after the cheating. It's not the action. It's what happens after the action. Like if you if you you go you step out and you you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying. We're human. You have to forgive, and no one is perfect. Because at the end of the day, sometimes you can't even trust yourself. So of imagine course. you can trust somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So right. when you do, when you do it, it's af- it's the aftermath of it. Are you going to, le- like you said, you're going to level up. You're going to show respect. You're going to, you know, make the person feel like you are, you know, you feel bad for what you did. You know what I right. mean? <clears throat> right, you right. Know, are you, or is it going to be like, I did it and what? Like, I did mm-hmm. it. You know, because I. Well, I see, I, that's I what I mean. It. That's what I mean by putting the work in afterwards. Like you said, it, it happened. Now what? Now, a lot of times men and women, I'm not just going to say one. A lot of times men and women, where they go wrong, when you take somebody back that cheated on you, you still harbor those feelings and still holding on to it. And you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Talking about it, bringing it up, as opposed to coming to the solution on how we going to get past this. You still right. you watching a movie on Showtime and you like, mm-hmm, that's probably what you did with that <laughs> bitch. Uh-huh, yeah. Why you laughing? She reminds you of her. <laughs> I, I, I do feel like, no, I do feel like there is a time frame for that. When it just right. happened, the problem with men is that uh-huh. when it just happened, it'd be like a week later and you'd be like, they'd be like, oh, why are you bringing it up? <laughs> like, that's true. Uh, Hello, let me get, you know, let me get past my emotions and deal with what I'm uh-huh. dealing with. You know, so right. that, that's an issue that I have. I feel like men do not allot women the time to get over stuff. 
And that's a huge thing. Like, you need yeah. to heal when you go through something like that. You need an ample amount of time. I agree. To say, okay, I'm going to deal with this because I love this man and I'm going to forgive him. But mm-hmm. it's going to take time. Men want you to forget about it just as fast as it happens. It's like, okay, it happened today. Hey, babe, what's up? You want to go out? What? Why are you calling my phone? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> But see, you know what? Okay, I, I, I understand that. Yes, that time to heal. That's that's the angle. But that's one of the things, like you said, a lot of men we it happen, and we wonder, okay, let's get past this. How are we gonna get past this? We actually we hate that damn time because that's just the time y'all be going. As women, during that during that time, y'all need to heal. Man, y'all be going hard on a motherfucker, boy. Y'all be going hard on a, like y'all really put us through the ringer. You know, it be like. Y'all put us through the ringer. Like I said, the example I gave, like when y'all watching a movie or if 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 if, 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 a, if a if a dude take too long to uh, was that bitch at the store? What the hell? You okay. you took your time because you had to make an extra phone call? You probably called her before you called. Like it's the it's right. y'all y'all know how to dig that knife and not fast. Right. Y'all dig and that I knife do. real I slow. Do. Yeah, and I agree. And I always feel like that's a bad move. If if you're gonna stay, you can't do that. You know, you I've told numerous numerous people that have come to me for advice. Like, this is what happened. Okay, you mm-hmm. you want to leave them or you're gonna stay? Because if you're gonna stay, you can't right. keep talking about it because right. that's not gonna help the healing process. And it's just like at, at, when you get to a certain age and you you know have been through certain experiences you learn how to right. handle things differently the way you will handle it with when you were 20 is not the same way you would handle it when you are 40 you get what that's i'm a saying fact. that's a so fact. It's, it's all the age factor it too that plays a major part in it people yes, who it are a young, a young girl won't know how because she can't she can't get her emotions in order exactly. to say like, you know okay this happened I'm going to deal with it and I'm going to move on. But a grown mm-hmm. woman now, a queen, yes. a queen, is going to understand that, yes, he stepped out of the castle, but guess what? There's only one king and queen. We're yes. going to deal with the situation yes. behind closed doors, like grown people do. You, you need think? to say that again. You, you need to say that again. There's a couple of women out there that haven't got to their queendom you know they queen level yet that need to hear that because I do, oh gosh that's re- that was actually refreshing for me as a man to hear or whatever because it's it's a lot of people are like one sided when it comes right. to this topic men right. and women you know right. but, you know we know it all starts with men a lot men started this shit we know that men men but it's like in this this world now I feel like the skills are so balanced. Mhm, mhm. You know, I it's no—it's no longer just the men. It's a lot of women doing the same thing. So it's like it boils down to your mental, your mind state. Like men, men, women, you gotta, you gotta elevate. You gotta change your way of thinking when it when it comes to this. Is it worth it? Okay. You know, because if if you like you like you said, if you make the choice to take them back. You, there's no need to continue to punish them for the mistake that they made. Exactly. And I just feel like, yo, at the end of the day, and this goes both ways, I feel like, who are you to judge someone to that extent? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Who, are, yes. who are you to judge someone to that extent? Listen, it's either, okay, you hurt me. What's the action that you did hurt me? If you're going to continue to hurt me, that's a different situation. I'm going to cut exactly. you to the white meat. I'm going to cut there you to go. the white meat. I'm going to cut there you to the white meat. But if you are remorseful in what you did and, mm-hmm. you know, you're ready to move on to another chapter. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, we can move on. But it has to. we have to be on one accord. Because what go. people don't realize is in relationships, people get, we, we sometimes we're not on the same page. And that's where right. where things like that happen. If we get yes. on the same page and we realize our and the biggest thing, whether it be a man or a woman, is taking ownership of what may have caused. And like Very you said, cheap. there's no reason, but what may have caused for this to happen. That's right. Very key. Because the, a lot of times the person who cheated is the one who is 
labeled as the bad the bad person you know right. and that's the one that is looked at a certain way or punished in a relationship or oh this is your fault and a lot of times we tend to we tend to forget every every action has a reaction so yes. what got us to this exactly. point exactly exactly and it's like it is like if we if we stop you know okay there's a song right that i always think mm-hmm. about um a vacation song that the guy says like okay we're going to keep arguing going back and forth trying mm-hmm. to see who's blame but at the same time we we both hurting so what's the point yes. Yep. What's the point? While we're going to point fact. out what may have happened, what may have led to what happened, but we're not going to mm-hmm. stay on it over and over and over and over again because it that's no still being hurt on both sides. So exactly. What, you know, what is the point of doing that? What's yeah, the point? exactly. Exactly. So let me ask you a question. Do you feel when healing, do you feel it's wise to get your friends or family involved in your healing process? I will say this. As a grown woman, mm-hmm. you need the support of your girls to vent okay. to. Because when you want to turn around and be like, when you was with that bitch, no, no. Mm-hmm. You bring it in and you call mm-hmm. and you call your girl, your bestie, mm-hmm. and you be like, bitch. You know this mm-hmm. motherfucker said to me, da 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 but when he was with that bitch, you vent to your friends, you know, and mm-hmm. I'm not saying all your friends and I'm not saying all your family, your select okay. you, you vent to okay. your friends because your friend is your outlet that stops you from mm-hmm. cutting him to the white meat. You get me? Mm-hmm. 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 You have to thank you for out. the thank you thank you to the friends that you know vent you had to vent to that didn't cut cow to the white <laughs> meat. I appreciate you. The <laughs> God's honest truth, and you you have to have your friends. But and I say this to say, your friends still need to understand. First of all, don't judge me. That's number one. Because if I want to stay with my man, I'm staying with my man, and you got to have those kind of friends to understand. Day one. Day one. This happened, but I'm still gonna rock with him because that's mm-hmm. my man, and I love him, and we're gonna mm-hmm. move past. If you have a bunch of friends mm-hmm. that's judging you constantly, no, those are not the friends that you would be sharing this information with. <laughs> yeah, FYI. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you gotta you gotta share that information you with select. your day ones. Yeah, you gotta be selective. You, got, you definitely gotta be selective. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, okay. Cause see, I'm I'm actually the opposite. When I'm going through certain things like that in my personal, people won't even find out until the shit is resolved. Or it's on the, on its way to being resolved because I'm the type that when I'm going through certain things, certain major things like that, like infidelity or something like that, I need mm-hmm. I need to reflect on my own mental. I need to sit and reflect and, and get my stuff get my stuff right before I even let it out even to the world. Like I, I my my day ones won't even know until I'm good in my mental space and I know my next move what I'm doing I don't you know reflected on the whole thing so cause I've been told by my brothers like yo you mean to tell me you was going through that for the last six months and we just finding out and I'm mm-hmm. like well yeah like so I'm I'm like I'm, I'm like the opposite with that like I can't allow I what I can't I don't want because I, I can if I want to but I don't want anyone else's opinion I don't want anyone else um, answers. I don't want anyone else advice. I don't want that for a certain time period. And then okay. I may, you know, go to you on that. So I'm, I'm a little different on that. And But I do agree with you saying. You do need that support. You do Wait, need that support. You now, yes, yes, on that, yes. On that topic, I mean, mm-hmm. what you're saying right now sounds good. And I'm not saying mm-hmm. that that's not factual. But right, most right. men don't share it when it's done to them because of embarrassment and because of ego and pride. Mm-hmm. They won't share it with their friends. If 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 it was done to them where a woman cheated on them, they don't really share mm-hmm. it like that. It comes out afterwards because it's a it's a it's a you know macho yeah. kind of thing. No, I got cheated I, on. I, 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 I could agree with that. Right, but in the other aspect of it, if they were cheating. 
and they cheated mm-hmm. on their girl. They, all they boys know. <laughs> all they boys know. It's it's the sad <laughs> truth. It's the sad it's truth. The sad but truth. you know what? It's the sad truth. But you know what? I'm I'm gonna say I agree with you on that. But I'm gonna say one one part of that. I'm gonna correct one part on that. Not all of our guys know. Our day ones, our day ones, uh, our day ones know or may know because it, it's just certain, you know. But not all our guys. We won't put that out there to everybody. Only our day ones. Just like when we when we do admit that our lady stepped out on us. Only we only putting that out there to our day ones. Everybody else won't know that or whatever. You know, I like don't men. That. No, I I, no. But, but listen, but listen, that. men. <laughs> listen to what I said. Listen to what I said. Men won't do it. Not boys. It's a fine right. line. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Definitely. So a man is gonna move a certain way. A boy. And I and I say boy because it don't matter what age you could be a sixty year old boy because it's all about your mentality, you know what I'm saying? So a man won't do that. A boy, yes, a boy will do everything you just said. Right. Well, ladies, you know my saying is men don't mature till they die. So that ah, means, whoa. I'm just saying. That being said, most men I hate to say that. Most men do that. Okay, okay, okay. Men won't. That's that's kind of that's hard. Men don't mature till they die. God damn, Jeannie, we don't mature till we die. No, God, that's, that's how I feel I about that, men. I, I felt that in my soul, like my soul I'm shifted. Sorry. Like I'm sorry. Damn, I'm it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I forgive you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, and I would man, say that most uh-huh. ladies would agree with me that the maturity level of most men is like third grade level. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, unfortunately, but it's not their fault. You know, it, it's some men don't grow. Um, you know, and I mm-hmm. get it. Some women are immature right. as well, but I just feel like women mature sooner than men. And in the in these kind of situations with infidelity I feel like you really have to be a mature adult and really be real with yourself that's a fact that's definitely a fact well um, we got some listeners with some questions and um, one of the listeners said well what if you have friends that want you to be messy instead of trying to help you heal when you're confiding to them because as you know not every friend is going to help you with your healing process and want to help you heal you have some friends that's on some oh well fuck that nigga fuck that yo let's go fuck that put your fuck em dress on we gonna go to the club girl put the fuck em dress on the fuck em heels put them put them thongs on fuck that nigga i got another nigga for you i got another dude we going this we going that oh you know like you got those type of friends too men and women so what about what what what, what would you do if you're in a situation like that, you're vulnerable, you're hurt, you're going through, you know, this. you, you already decided that you're not going to leave them, but you're going through that healing process. But at the same time, you hate this motherfucker right now. What you do with, you, with those friends that want you to be messy and cut up and not really trying to help you heal, you know, they trying to help you turn up and cut up. What would you, what you do in that situation? Okay, and this is where, you know, having discernment comes in. You have to know, you have to know when and who you're going to speak to about your situation. And at this point in your life, if you're, if you're at a point where, you know, you have day one that you know that no matter what you say to them, they're, gonna, they're not going to judge you because we all, we all have been in these kind of situations and other situations that are even worse at times. So you have to know who your who your audience is, who you're talking to. If you're talking to somebody who is bitter, alone, and you know has always given you bad information and bad, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Right. You, you should know that you have those kind of friends. You know what I'm saying? Right. You should like, yo, you know this one. If I tell her she's a hater, you know, because some people some people know what eat how their char- the characteristics of each of their friends. And some people know that. Some people might be like, well, you need to get out. And they're not 
being nasty about it or trying right. to tell you to just forget about it. They just be like, yo, you really need to unwind. Let's go have some fun. But if you going to call your friend that you know is a thought and you know she's going to try to hook you up with two guys and tell right. her this is what happened, what do you think is, what's the, what do you think is going to be her reaction? So it has to be you who knows. Uh-huh. Right. You know? You got to know who, who to call. You got to know who to call. Don't call Keisha from the block that, you know, turning up every week. You got to call, you got to call Teresa who got a husband or always been that good friend and going to give you that solid advice. And, and, you know, I'm glad you said that because that tends, that right there tends to be a lot of, t- tends to be a downfall with a lot of people going through infidelity in their relationships, men and women, because we all have those friends that just cut up, you know what I'm saying? Turn up, fuck that, you know, fuck that nigga, fuck that girl, fuck that woman, like this and that, like we all have those friends. So, a lot of times, that's that that's part of the problem. A lot of times, that's part of the problem, as opposed to being part of the solution. You know, so yeah, you definitely got to know where where to turn and who to talk to. And honestly, that's why I only talk to my my close brothers. You know, what I'm saying about things like that. Like I don't, no one else will ever know. Like this still <laughs> this still certain people that knew me for a while that's not my brothers in my day ones that don't even know I'm divorced. Right. <laughs> you know, right. and I've been divorced for going on four years. And there's just like a lot of people that don't even know that. They on like, well, they, oh shit, yo. Like, for example, I, I was in New York a couple of weeks back. I was in New York, you know, celebrating my mom, my mother's life and stuff. And I go to my old, I go to my block, you know, my old hood. I'm chopping it up. I still have some people come to me and be like, yeah, Cal, yo, what up? Yo, how the wife? You know what I'm saying? How the missus and this and that. And yo, yeah, man, you know, I remember this and remember that. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm saying to myself, like, wife, like, I ain't have a wife in going four years. But, you know, I just, I say that to say, like, you got to know who to talk to and who to turn to, like you said. You know, you can't have everybody in your business because a lot of times other people's vibes and other people's opinions are have you made a decision that you yourself really don't want to make. I agree. I agree. And then you find yourself living a life that you yourself don't really want to live. But you allow other people opinions and vibes and you know like turn you another way because I'm big on like I'm big on like on, on vibes and I, I I believe that sometimes if you have the wrong people around you their vibes could start to rub you know saying rub on you and yes I agree you know and that's why you know you know sometimes it happens so you definitely got to be careful of the energy that you that you allow around you, you know. So, I mean, I definitely, I definitely, you know, definitely so agree with I that, though. Question. I have a question. Okay. Yes. So, what do you think is a decent time frame to have moved on? Not gotten over, because everybody okay. gets over things their, you know, on their own pace, at their own pace. So, what do you think is okay. a decent to say, all right, we're we have moved on or we have moved mm-hmm. past the infidelity like give me a, a time frame what you think i just want to get an idea because i, I want to know you know i want to pick a man's brain for a minute okay the moment the moment you can accept that your woman stepped out on you the moment you can accept it and, and come to terms with it because that's the hardest for a man to come to terms that it happened to him and accept it and and truly truly be able to forgive her and no no longer like no want want to punish her or get even the moment you can come to that mindset and that and, and you know what I'm saying that's that's when it's, it's it's time to get past it and move on because now it, it really depends on the man as far as the time frame that he has that that light bulb goes off for him but that's as, as a man and as a man that you know been in that that situation. That's when it's 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 time for you to move past that when you can come to terms 
and accept it happened to you. This is this this is real. This is what the fuck went down, and I can forgive her. Okay, now, so as a man, what's the time frame? Like, what do you think is this? Like, okay, I know, I know, right? I know. I, I explained it without giving us. I know, right? I forgive me. Sometimes, sometimes Cal does shit like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> All the time I'm, now. All, all the, the time. time. You you know, you know, you know me. You know me well, Jeannie. You know me well. <laughs> um, a time frame, I'm going to say, me, it's definitely going to take me more than 30 days. You're not going to get me there in 30 days. So I'm yeah. dead. It, no, that's not even realistic, Cal. Yeah, it ain't going to take, yeah. Realistic. I'm talking about a I'm, realistic time frame. A realistic time frame... See, that's a, that's a difficult question because I believe that there really isn't a set time frame. It depends on the person. Uh-huh. That's what I that's what I believe. Okay. You know, so I, I that's what I believe. But if you if you you know you you putting me where I have to take I have to give a time frame. I'm gonna say I need at least a good I need a, I I need at least a good I need at least a good five six months. Okay. All right. Good. I'm glad you said that. I would say that that, that is being um, fair, you know, is it because yeah. women, you know, it takes them like 20 years to get over. <laughs> 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 so, you know, it yeah. sure do take us a long time. It do. But you know why do it take us a long time, Jeannie? I, and I'm, I'm going to just like break it down even a little further because, okay, men... We, we've been labeled as dogs and, and motherfuckers ain't shit and oh motherfuckers hunt and this and that we've been labeled that for, for decades women have always been held on a certain pedestal women have always been viewed a certain way you know so to be the man that your woman stepped out and had a dude all in her stuff, all in your stuff. Cause over, let's keep it real. Every man, when you got a woman, whether she your wife or your longtime girlfriend, we know that that part is attached to her. But in our mind, that's ours. That's how we think. That's ours. That's my shit. She ain't giving that shit okay. away, you know. So to know that another dude done planted his flag. That shit mentally fucks us up, and that's why it, it mentally fucks us up. Not just emotionally, mentally. So it takes us a while to really heal and, and, and get get past that. That's why it's so hard for a man. You know, we, we fucking a uh, vision. We'll be sitting there watching TV, and the difference, see, the difference about the example I gave earlier when I said a woman a, a, a watch a program, we watch a program, and y'all, y'all blurt that shit out. Like, oh, yeah, that's probably what she was doing with that bitch. This, that, a man, we'll sit there and watch the whole damn program. And we'll be laughing. You'll be laughing. This, that, that. We might say a little something to you. We might this, that, you know, have conversation with you, yada, yada, yada. But in our mind, we thinking, like, that's probably what the fuck she was doing to that nigga. That's probably what that nigga was doing. Yeah, you see how he called her and she was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm with him right now, but... Yeah, we'll meet up later. I'll just tell them I'm going to get up with my girls. In our mind, that shit replaying like a tape recorder. We going through all that shit in our mind, and then now we just got an attitude. Now we feeling the way. And you might not even know exactly what it is at the beginning. You might feel like, oh, this motherfucker tripping. What the fuck wrong with him? You know, yada, yada, what's going on with your ass? Can I ask you a question? Yes. Yes. Wouldn't wouldn't it be the the, the mature thing (laughs) to do? Yep. It's to be like, yo, you know, I'm feeling some kind of way right now. You know, I just had a thought about what happened. Like, commun- open communication about it. Like, wouldn't that be the mature thing to do? That is that is absolutely the mature thing to do. That's, I, that's absolutely the mature thing to do. But at that moment, we ain't thinking about maturity. We pissed. We like, fuck it. We about to go out right now. Fuck that. And we going out. Problem. That's all. And that's why and the yeah. cycle continues. And that is yes. why the cycle continues. So this is why we have to have these kind of conversations to kind of open up, you know, to see, you know, not only, like I said, the action, but what happens after the action. Because the cycle 
will continue if you don't have any verbiage, if you're not conversing exactly. out what's, what you're feeling instead of, yes. you know what, I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm not saying nothing to her. I'm angry. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go out with my boys. I just might bump into a chick and whatever happens, happens. Fuck it. She did it to me. And then the cycle continues. You get me? You're right. I agree. I definitely agree. I definitely, and that's the difference between a lot of men and a lot of women. You know, women you know, women are definitely huge on communication and, you know, getting things. Men are more huge on action. Well, can I change you? Can I change that for a second? Sometimes the communication from women is not positive. It's not positive. You're right. That's the problem, too. That's the problem with women, you know? And I'm, I will be the first one to say it. It's like, just because you say what you're feeling, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. You get what I'm yeah, saying? You no, I get what you're saying. I totally, I get what you're saying. I definitely do. I agree. I definitely agree. And that's why communication, that's why in a relationship, once the communication is messed up and the trust, you, that you, you got some hard decisions to make it. You know, you got to get, you got to get one of them right fast because both of them can't be messed up and you're going to have a successful relationship. You can't have your communication messed up and your trust. Ah, that's a real sticky that's nice. that's nice. situation. Nice. I agree. Yeah, no. I agree. I agree. So, so we could we could agree to disagree on a few points. I see, which is great. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, well, I mean, and I, and I feel see, and this this goes back what you said. The reason why we can agree to disagree on certain points and still have a conversation about it and continue to move on with our conversations because our mindset. You know, we have the mindset of, of a king and the mindset of a queen. So we're at those levels mentally. A lot of people, people get, I will, let me, I don't want to say it in a, a judgmental way. So I'll say everybody gets there in their own time. Yeah, exactly. Because it's, you know, it's a, while I, I made the joke earlier when I said men mature when they die, which is <laughs> partially true, but um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, I made that joke. You are right. People do get there at their own pace. And that that alone is the problem. Because sometimes you're more advanced in your your mind, you know, than, yes. than your partner is. So yes. that's you know, going back to what I was saying about not being on the same page and that's why infidelity happens. That mm-hmm. is the problem. One of the problems yes. is that was infidelity, you know? Yes. Definitely. Definitely, I agree. And, and and what it is, and like, and because everybody get there at their own pace, it's okay that you may be there and I'm not there yet. Right. It's okay. With the issue, the problem happens when the other party is not making no attempt to get there. Right. Right. That, you know, it's like it's constantly trying to help somebody grow and they just being stuck in their they, they own ways and, and not want to grow. Exactly. Which which can be a huge issue in the relationship and be one of the reasons why you step out on the relationship because now you're around people that's on your same level. You done met somebody that is either on your level or even above your level and now you coming back home right you coming back home and you like this nigga <laughs> <laughs> right right okay so th- that being said this is this is the next question that being okay. said do you think that it's absolutely necessary for a couple to go to therapy after infidelity I, yes I, I definitely think is necessary. A third party is yes. needed. I agree. I agree. Because I if, agree. A, if 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 we didn't need another person's opinion, God damn it, we would be able to fix this shit on our own, and we probably wouldn't even yes. be in this situation. I agree. I second that. <laughs> but a lot. But feel, have you do have? You feel like a lot of men are, you know, down to go to therapy. Let's talk about that. Honestly, no. Exactly. No, a lot of men are not because 
a lot of men feel like I don't need nobody in my motherfucking business. I know how to do my business. I know how to handle this shit. You know, like we don't want a, a lot of men don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it, and not even trying to. Like a lot, a lot of a lot of men feel that therapy that's for white people. Right. And I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not no offense to nobody listening. I'm just I'm just being honest. A lot of men feel like that's white people shit. Right. I don't need that. We don't black. We don't go to therapy. We don't go to therapy. We listen to music. You know, we 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 talk to each other. We, to we argue. Friends. We talk to <laughs> <Yeah>. our friends, right? <laughs> right that's right. Our therapy. But but you know what? It's it's a terrible mind frame. It's a terrible it mindset since that you cannot go to speak to someone, you know, either separately or collectively to yes. solve a problem. Someone who is, you know, n- doesn't know you, who is, you know, not biased to the situation. Yes. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. I agree. So I, I, I think agree. I think that, that that's another thing that too, like when you meet a partner and you're you're just starting out and these are the kind of things that you want to those are the kind of questions you want to ask like would you yeah. ever go to therapy you know <laughs> mm-hmm. you would never think that, that was the question but nowadays I feel like that should be on a dating app like would you would you go to therapy if you felt you know if, if a guy says no he's the motherfucker that's just schizophrenic he because, <laughs> <laughs> you know uh hello Why, you know what I'm saying like this is Jimmy. a of mental health where people need to go to therapy. Genie, motherfuckers, because they won't go to therapy. Look, if y'all ain't going to therapy, Genie ain't fucking with you. <laughs> if I was a single woman out here, if I cannot pray with a man, I don't want to be with you. If I cannot go to, if you are opposed to therapy, I don't want to be with you. If you can't forgive, I ain't messing with you. Like, I, it's just so many stipulations I would have. Like, I'm telling you, I would be single. I'd be single out here. I'd be single. I feel you. I feel you. Well, I mean, shit. That I got. I got. I, men, we got. I got a certain checklist too, and I shit. That's why I am single. Cause I got a certain checklist that I just. I haven't met nobody that is is on my level. Quite honestly, like, you know, like. It's a lot, a lot of, like I said, the, the scales nowadays are balanced and I'm finding out that there's a lot of women out there that have a lot of insecurities and in some, in a lot of ways are, are damaged and don't know how to deal with that or haven't confronted that. So they 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 put their they put their issues and certain things that they're going through on the man and 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 look for the man to be their superman or help help them like save them. I'm fine. There's a I'm not saying all women out there like that. Ladies, don't get it twisted. I'm saying there's a lot more women out there like that than I knew. Okay. Unfortunately, I, I'm running across them. Okay, and, but let me say this. No, I'll uh-huh. let you finish. Because I, oh, I, I, no. I, I, I need to say something. Go ahead. Okay. I said, like, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm running across them now. I'm all for being your support factor. I'm all for helping you grow and support you when we grow together. But I refuse to have to save someone or have to rebuild you because of what your past have done and once again this like I said this is what I'm going through um rebuild you because what your past had did and now is making it harder for us to grow I'm I, I can't do that it takes I, I'm not well, I'm not I'm not gonna say I can't once again not I can't I'm not going to be I'm not going to do that because a lot of times it, it takes away from what we're trying to build because we got to first get past what you've been through and I got to rebuild you and, 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 and reset and save you only to get to a certain level that we should naturally be at together. And in a lot of cases that I found, we never even get to that level because it's so much holding us down. I, 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 I can't do that. 
While I understand where you're coming from. Uh huh. Talk to me. Talk to me. (laughs) First of all, from the time that women are born, we Uh are, especially black women, that no matter what condition a man is in, that we have to help them. We have to save them. We have to be strong for them. If they they ain't got it, we got to hold them down. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And most men I hear nowadays are saying what you just said. You yes. know, they're meeting these women that are broken. But these women didn't wake up broken. They were broken from a lot of them, whether it be their fathers, whether it be, you know, you know, sometimes they, they have gotten molested by family members. You know, mm-hmm. men in general have, you know, relationships have broken a right. lot of black women. So, right. of course, if you going around, and I'm not saying you, I'm saying most, right. a lot of men going around hurting women. And then when they have this poof, one day the light comes on, they're expecting to find this perfect woman. It yeah. doesn't work like that. So, I agree. And I feel like we have sacrificed and we continue to sacrifice with our black men all the time. Mm-hmm. Now it's a little different. This generation is, has shifted, like you said. It's a little different. Mm-hmm. But yeah. most of the time, women are willing to, you know, get that man and help him get his stuff together and help him heal. And or, mm-hmm. so, or so we think we can help him heal, you mm-hmm. know, and that, mm-hmm. that, that goes back to going to the therapy because you can't right. you can't be tapped and save a hoe. You can't. No. You can't. You can't. Save, you can't save everybody. You can't. No. And, that, and that's no. a, that's a misconception as well. But yes. I think I think that it's a double. It's it's really a slap in the face for men to mm-hmm. feel like now they don't want a woman that's broken when y'all broke it in the first place. Let's well, see, this is the thing. But see, yes. But see, this is. I'm glad you said that. This is the thing. I didn't break you. When we got together. Whatever dude you was dealing with before me, or maybe the, the last two dudes or the last three dudes, broke you. I get that. We all have been through certain situations that have broken us and, and you know, got us, you know, feeling away. What the, 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 the proper way to heal is not to jump into another relationship. And a lot of people do that. And now you got the situation where now, and I'll just, I'll use myself, like now, me, I got to fix you cause, or help help fix you because the last dudes broke you and you yourself didn't take the proper time you needed for yourself to heal. You just went to another relationship and now the relationship you enter in is already broken before it can even be strong. So we got to rebuild before we can build. And I just feel like that's not fair to the new person coming into your life. I salute those that, that that's willing to do it. I salute them, no doubt. I've been there before. I was that guy before. Where I'm at now in my life, I'm not doing it. No, I'm not going to do it. That's a personal <laughs> choice. And I agree. Right. Like, I, I, I get it. I ain't just the time. I get it. I'm looking at it. I ain't knocking it. But that also comes with, that also, like you said, that also comes with a lack of education. That's a, That also comes with not having knowledge of self. When you yes. have knowledge of self, you know that after you have been broken and you've been through certain things, you do need to take some time to heal and you do maybe need to get therapy. But you know, like I said, like going back to what we said, our people, you know, turn, you know, they shy away from things like that. Yes, and they and do. after that, more, more destruction. The cycle continues. You know, yes. if, you don't, yes. if you don't stop, if you put keep putting a band aid over something, you're never going to heal. It's just not going to heal. It's just more band aids on top of band aids on top of band aids. And then <laughs> you ain't never lie. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? It's going to get infected. It's going to get infected. Yeah, you get yeah. What I'm or that shit going, or that shit going to fall off. <laughs> right. You know. So, so yeah, I do understand that. But what I was just saying is that I mm-hmm. just feel like it's, it's it's a slap in the face in a way for mm-hmm. men to feel like, yo, I don't got no time to be dealing with no broken women. When mm-hmm. when for centuries, for going back however many years, you know, mm-hmm. the the burden, and I I, mm-hmm. I don't want to say burden. 
because as a woman, as a woman, the way that God made mm-hmm. us are duties, right? But the, right. the things that our black women, black women have endured yes. for black men, you know, being, mm-hmm. and I, I'm not going to go into the history. I'm just going to touch it mm-hmm. a little bit. You know, right. do you really think that most of the time that these women wanted to sleep with the slave masters? No, they did it to save their families. They did it to right. save their husbands or their sons that was out in the field. They knew that they had to do this for certain reasons, you know, and that's taking it to a whole nother level. But mm-hmm. that's the type of shit that I'm talking about. Like, the sacrifices mm-hmm. that black women continue to make for black men. So today for a black man to say, like, I don't have time to fix a broken woman. It's like, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Are you dumb? <laughs> like, what do yeah. you mean? You know, yeah. but I get it. I get it. Yeah, no, I def- I definitely agree. And you know what? That's so crazy. So you know that's gonna that's gonna set us up for the for the second the second hour of the show. I think like now we we where we in, where we're ending it right now because I think let's let's take a little you know little um song break and come back. Yeah. But yeah. you know, play we 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 probably could play maybe one two songs or whatever. But I think when we come back, let's touch on: Are you willing to? sacrifice how how no how much of yourself are you willing to sacrifice for your significant other in a relationship right yes that's a great that's a great question yeah yeah we will definitely get that okay so when we come back yeah we go we're gonna take we're gonna take a song break y'all and you know when we come we when we come back with his and hers you know, tone deaf radio, his and hers. Then we're gonna we're, we're gonna touch on that topic. How much are you willing to sacrifice yourself for your significant other? His and hers. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone. Yeah, yeah. I don't wanna put no pressure on ya. I just wanna put a blessing on ya. Since our last undressing session, I'm not really sure if you've been checking. I'm progressing. I just heard my songs are popping out in Macedonia and even Serbia. I don't mean to burden ya. If you got a man since then, I understand. Last thing I wanna do is get you jammed. Especially if he's a fan. He probably never wanna hear my shit again. And I need every single sound scan. But if you single and you down, then I'm in your town feeding for another round. I was counting down the days. Been more patient than a brown fan. Where that chip at? Probably on your shoulder, cause I forgot to hit back. Left you on red. Apologies are said, but often never meant. Well, fuck that, I repent. For message never sent now. Tell how strange it's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way, just got in town. And I won't let you in this crowd. all in the sky. Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But this recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual pain and thunder Baby, I wonder Baby, I wonder Would you just put your sweats on Put your sweats on for me Cause I got the plug, I made the car for free mm-hmm. I'm talking late night for ya Let me lay a great time on ya Don't hesitate, no, don't you Just say you will, will, will Come to a chill, chill, chill Just say you will Love it, shit, you know I'm crazy. 
So go ahead and put a drink up. I'm so glad we got to link up. Get to taking that off, taking that off of me. Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Mm-hmm. I'm talking late night for ya. Let me lay a great time on ya. Don't make me wait, no, don't you? And just say you will, will, will come to with you. In case my lack of reply had you catching them feelings Know so you've been on my mind like Kaepernick kneeling Or police killing Or Trump saying slick shit Manipulating poor white folks because they ignorant Blind to the struggles of the ones that got the pigment Lately I've been stressing cause it seems so malignant I need to feel your essence in my presence if you with it I guarantee you won't regret you did it Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We are back. We are back. His and hers, Tone Deaf Radio. Yes, yes, yes. I, I like I like the vibe of that song. Pick up the phone and it was real. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. DJ DJ Tone Deaf, man. Gotta we got we gotta get that track, man. I'll vibe for that in the house. <laughs> yes, yes. Shout out to Tone, man. I will, you know, I was that's the boss man. Boss man, know. Tom. Shout out to you, Tom. So, yes. So now, 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 let's jump back into it. This, I, I love the way this is, this is going, man. This is a real, real good night. Mhm. Mhm. Real good night. Real good night. I hope everybody, you know, men, women, couples listening, you know, y'all taking notes on this because we. You know, we're dropping a lot of jewels, and it's a lot of, you know, miscommunication from the man's point of view and female's point of view. And a lot of times, you know, we need to get together more so we can understand each other better. Yeah, agreed. You know, so, definitely. So um, I went first on the last one. You know, I started off first, Jeannie. So, I mean, it's only right <laughs> that you go first on this one. Okay. If you insist. You know, if there you we go. Insist. There so, we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on. I got some technical difficulties. Hold on. Okay, no problem. No problem. All right, we're going to, you know, let Jeannie get together her technical difficulties. No, but like I said, it's very important, you know, that we understand each other more. A lot of times that's a big problem in relationships whether relationships, relationships, friendships, it's communication. Communication is real key. So, we definitely have to understand each other more. Oh, uh, you're back with us, Jimmy? I'm back. I'm back. Cool. So, Perfect. Okay. Um, where did we leave off? Where were we? Where were we? Okay. Where were we going let, with this again? Remind okay. Me. Let me. Yeah. No problem. No problem. I, I will. I will be the king. I will. Um. Where we left off at is the question. The next question of the hour, top of the hour, second hour is, how much of yourself? Are you willing 
mm. to sacrifice for your significant other? Mm-hmm. Well, I want to change. <laughs> okay. This, this is a good one because I feel like, and this is just my personal opinion, mm-hmm. I feel like there really shouldn't be a sacrifice. Mm-hmm. There should be compromises, but mm-hmm. not sacrifices. And and I believe that that's where the relationship usually takes a turn for the worse because one person is making more sacrifices than the other. Mm-hmm. When a relationship okay. is working, it should just work like because of compromise, not so much sacrifice. Because when you sac- when you're sacrificing, you're taking away from things that you really, really, you know want to do or mm-hmm. you know you don't you know you you like and things like mm-hmm. that and it it that's taken away from yourself who you mm-hmm. are right. so once you start to make certain sacrifices and you start noticing that yo I'm taking away from myself and I'm really doing this and that you start to have resentment towards mm-hmm. that person even though you may mm-hmm. love them you start to resent them but I feel like mm-hmm. if you make compromises to the things that you know you both want to do or what compromise mm-hmm. in the relationship is still being true to thyself mm-hmm. okay. sacrifices is lying to yourself and it causes mm. destruction mm. that's my personal opinion okay so basically you ain't sacrificing shit <laughs> if, I had to, if I had to do it again uh-huh. Uh, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is that <laughs> it would be a different situation. And I, I really, I really like if I had to have a conversation with my younger self, mm-hmm. I would say, I would say, baby girl, stand on that square and don't move. That was baby my next question. Move. And you answered it. Okay. 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 Okay, okay. I hear that. I mean, but do you feel that we sacrifice sometimes without even knowing? Because a lot of times in relationships, well, let me not say it. Sometimes in relationships mm-hmm. you sacrifice and and it's not it's not a thought. It's not you don't think like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice and do this. You just do it right. out of the love of the relationship. And you right. don't realize that you sacrifice. That's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong. You know what? And and that's what I'm saying. It has to be okay. a conscious. You have to be conscious of the uh-huh. things you're doing. You want yes. you and and once again going back to knowledge of self and knowing yes. yourself and what you're not going to take and what you are going to mm-hmm. take. You got to be conscious of it because you mm-hmm. know everybody says they sacrifice in the name of love. Right. That's the problem. But that's the problem. Right. So in the name of love, you should not be having to sacrifice. When somebody loves you, they love mm-hmm. you for who you are. Mm-hmm. They don't love you for who you are pretending to be. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. That's a misconception. Well, don't you don't you think that in 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 loving someone it comes with sacrifice, not sacrifice of yourself, because I definitely agree with, you know, um, self-love, not sacrifice of yourself, but sacrifice in, in, in the relationship as far as certain things that like there's certain things you wouldn't do as a woman in a relationship versus a single woman. That's sacrifice. It's not it's not sacrifice to the highest power because I feel that I feel that there's different levels of sacrifice. I agree with you on never losing yourself, yes. and that's the problem. A lot of people lose themselves because they're sacrificing. They're sacrificing not for the relationship. They're sacrificing themselves. You right. know, what I'm saying? That's, that's that's the extreme that I was talking about. Of course, gotcha. like I said, that's why I use the word compromise because I yes. feel like you know compromise is on a lower level. Of it, but mm-hmm. I'm talking about extreme sacrificing. That, but believe it or not, the, the things that you may feel that are 
you know, little things eventually mm-hmm. add up to be major things. And I agree. sacrifices in a relationship. You know what I mean? I agree. If you meet a guy, if you meet a guy, it's just like so many people I hear stories like they met their significant others in the club, right? Mm-hmm. And then it's like we met in a club and we've been together three months and he no longer wants me to party. Period. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like, dude, are you kidding me? Like mm-hmm. you can't, you can't, re- you know, want somebody to just remove. And and that's that's not really like a, a huge thing because if you're feeling mm-hmm. your man and you you know but I feel right. like if you love to party why should you have to stop partying? <laughs> because well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say stop partying, but I would I would agree with not partying to the extreme you did before we was together. That's just my opinion. I I that's I, I just feel I feel like. As there's certain things single women do, and there's certain things um, women in relationships do. I don't feel that a woman in a relationship should be moving as a single woman. And I say that to say that's just my that's just my opinion. As far as the club thing, as far as the um right, and as far as far as the club thing you said, like if I met you in the club, and when I met you, you was clubbing every week, every party, every every flyer that your girl gave you. Y'all was there. Y'all was there every event. Y'all was this and that. I feel that, okay, yeah, that was that was what it was when we met. That was what it was when we was talking before we got in a relationship. Once we got in a relationship, I don't want my woman going to every party every time she get a flyer or every 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 weekend, oh, every no. time. No, no, no. You I know, agree. so I feel like, yeah, mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah, it's like, no, okay, I'm now. I'm talking about the men who are like, nah, you can't party at all. Like, I'm no. Okay, like, that's I've extreme. Seen, I've seen that. That's extreme. That's extreme. And then it's like, and it's like, okay. And then you, you know, you get the okay, the okay bitch. You know, right? The okay, right? Bitch. Yeah. And and I say that with all due respect. You know, we've all yeah. been that okay bitch. I've been that okay uh-huh. bitch at one time in my life. Okay, okay. <laughs> and as as I'm that person, I'm turning into that okay. Right. I'm slowly chipping away from myself. From yourself. You know? I'm so and once you give a man that first okay, they start to be like, Oh, all right. So everything <laughs> they start to feel itself. That's like, right. They start to feel itself. It's like, yo, what I say goes and you know, but what what men don't realize is eventually what happens is that okay bitch, if she's a, a, a smart bitch, is growing daily and within mm-hmm. growth she begins to be like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, hello? Yeah, that's <laughs> you know? True. So That's true. It doesn't stay like that all the time. So that being said, you know, like I said, some sacrifices are fine. I don't even yes. like to use the word sacrifices because when you hear sacrifice, mm-hmm. it's just like the extreme shit, you know? The word, the, the word the itself word. just sounds like yeah, somebody so transforming. Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so crazy. It's like, I'm... Yeah, take my right arm, even though mm-hmm. you have two arms already. Take my right arm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? All right, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay, let me ask you this. How do you feel about do well? Do you feel because we talking about sacrifice and and you know, so stemming off of that, do you feel it's right to cut off certain certain friends of the opposite sex that you had before you got into that relationship. And the reason why I ask that is because that's also another issue. And that can actually be another topic for another show later on down the line. But we'll 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 we'll, we'll touch it touch it a little bit tonight. A lot of times you have certain people that you get in relationships with and that guy will feel like Oh well, yeah. I know you had. I know those dudes was your, you know, your friends, male friends. I know you had them before me, but I'm not comfortable with that. Like, I don't want you, I don't want you dealing with them like that. Do you feel that that, and vice versa? You have women that feel that way too. Like, yeah, I know I run across that issue a lot because I have a lot of female friends. I've always have. I got a lot of guy friends, but I got a lot of female friends. That, yeah. and when I get into relationships, that's an issue. You know, some I, I, I've been in relationships where it haven't been an issue. 
but I've been in relationships where it's been an issue. Now, I'm the type that I feel like, listen, these was my homegirls. These was my before you. I'm not going to cut them off and not deal with them because now I'm with you. Now, out of respect, I won't have them call me, you know, uh, certain times of the night or whatever. Or, you know, I'll let them know, you know, I'm in a relationship now and they know the boundaries. So out of respect, certain things, but I'm not going to cut them off just to, you know, so that's how I am. But I just like, how do you feel about that? Okay. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Mm -hmm. The reason why I feel that most women have an issue with the whole, and, and, and I will say this, most times when a guy, when a girl, like I have tons of male friends, like mm-hmm. I actually get along better with guys. You know this, Cal, because you're one of my friends. Yes, <laughs> like, exactly. I exactly. I get along better with guys than I do with girls. And all my friends that I consider my homeboy, my friends, I've never fucked them. The difference is that men will tell you that and they have fucked the girls that's the difference and you cannot say that i'm lying cal because you know it's true well see i'm 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 not i'm not gonna say you lying i'm not gonna say you lying i'm not i'm not gonna disclose any names you know but yes (laughs) things may or may not have transpired in the past or you know, but we have a friendship, damn it. <laughs> no, we have a friendship. That's where all deals are off because you can't expect me to be friends or be comfortable with you being friends with somebody that you, you know, you pipe down. If you pipe to one, yo, especially nowadays with these women having this, you know, uh, attitude of their, we're all in competition with each other type of thing. Uh-huh. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? You, right, right. That's putting your woman in a compromising position. You know well, what I'm maybe, saying? Maybe my female friend one time needed somebody to console her in her time of need. And me being a good friend that I am, I felt that I need to put a smile on her face. And she deserved to be happy, even if it was just for that moment. But we're still friends. We don't look at each other like that. Maybe she needed something at that time or just wanted something at that time because of the son she was going through. And I'm a dude that she trusts and she didn't want to put herself out there like that. It's like, well, I don't want nothing. I don't want no strings. I don't you know, no strings attached or this and that. But I've known you for years. I trust you. I know what type of dude you is. I know this is going to stay between us. Huh? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm about to tell you to shut the fuck up. Right now. I'm just saying. I'm just no. I'm just. I'm keeping it real. You have <laughs> yo. You mean to yo, show me? You I'm, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just saying. You know. You know what, Jeannie? Go ahead, Jeannie. Tell me. Tell me. Shut the fuck up. I don't care. We both from Brooklyn. Go ahead. So I'm gonna let you shut the fuck up because let me explain to you what you're saying. Explain. Explain. To me, it's because at one point in time. You know, this girl was going through whatever she's going through. So it's supposed to be acceptable that she's still your friend and she lets you pipe her. And I'm supposed to be cool with her calling you and y'all hanging out. Come on, Cal. There's a certain level of, like, you talk about boundaries. No, there's no boundaries when it comes to something like that. Because well, it, 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 the, bound, the boundaries, the lines were crossed before. Okay, me. right. So you can't Before you. That. You yeah, see that? Before you. It doesn't matter, but that's the whole thing. Your friend, your friend, uh huh, uh-huh. your friend, is your friend. A girl that you ba- you you banged out before is a girl that you uh-huh. banged out. She's not your friend. So you don't. Okay, so let me ask you. Okay, well, I mean, you don't you don't feel that. Okay, you feel once sex happened, we can't no longer be friends. Hell no. That's Hell not no. right. That ain't um, right. It is. Right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm not going to cut off our friendship because one particular night oh, no. or whatever. No, I'm not talking about, huh? <laughs> that's a, what I'm sure you have to cut it off because that's a booty call. Why would you cut yeah, no, it No, it, it's no, not, it's not. No, listen, because I was just, I'm saying it's not that this is somebody that 
it was it turned into a booty call time. This is something that it happened, it went down or whatever, but we still continued our friendship and it's not it's not that we trying to be with each other or we try or we call each other on some booty call stuff. This is something that happened. Yeah, we, we took it there, but we kept our friendship. You know what I'm saying? We didn't allow that to, you know, um end our friendship because, you know, so one this night is I, this is what I mean about you. This is what mm-hmm. I mean about you. And when I say you, I mean men. All I of know, a sudden you're so mature. All of a sudden, you're so <laughs> All of a sudden, now you can be mature, right? When it comes yes. to that. But you can't yes. be mature for other shit. But all of a sudden, the maturity level, you know, we, we can still be friends, even though we had sex. And, you know, I'll introduce you to my new girl and she's just going to accept it. And then let's keep it real. 90, 99% of the time, you're not even going to tell your girl that you slept with her. That is that is true. That's true. That it all depends. Now, and now I'll say this. That's very true. A lot of times, you won't even tell your girl. It takes a certain type of woman. It takes a certain type of woman, which is rare, but they out there. It takes a certain type of woman that you can you can give up that honesty to, and she mm-hmm. won't give a damn. And it's like, okay, well, you know I'm what? Whatever that was that the bitch. past. I'm, I'm just saying. Not ain't. that bitch. You not her. Okay. You not her, Jeannie. Not, never. Not even a little bit. Never not a little bit. Day. You cannot play with me like that. Like don't not a little bit. first of all respect my name, respect my face. Like that's to me. That's like no. I'm not doing that. Like not all the friends that I've that I've introduced my husband to as my friends mm-hmm. or as my right. brothers. Like those right. are my friends that I've known for years. Those are my right. brothers. I'm not introducing him to somebody that right. I've been with in that way and you know you know introducing them as a cousin and then you right. know we used to well see i'm not even yeah see, yeah that's that's some griminess i'm not even talking about like that i don't know that's 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 some next that's some other other shit i ain't talking about like oh yes yeah, i'm talking about somebody that it happened it went down and but you still kept the friendship like y'all not even that friendship on a, a six month, keep that friendship on Facebook. Keep that friendship uh-huh. on a one, once in a six month time. She check on you, but don't keep uh-huh. that friendship. That oh yo, I'm going to Kathy house, you know, and you telling me about Kathy all the time, or you hanging out with Kathy, or Kathy's around me, like we're going right. out, taking me to Kathy's functions. Like get the fuck out of here, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I love it. 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 I, I got you. I, I no, listen. And hey, listen, I say this, like I said, I'm talking from a man's point of view, but I say this to say I wouldn't even do that shit. I'm be honest. Like, if you had a dude, and I wouldn't be cool with that shit either. If that's a dude that you, you know what I'm saying, y'all fucked, y'all did the thing. I, nah, ain't no, why are you still friends with him then? I, I would feel that same way. So, I would feel that same way. I'm keeping it a buck. I feel that same way, but... I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I still have female friends that I fuck. I believe it. I believe it. I still so have female me, friends. So let me pose you this question. Uh huh. So what if you get with this girl? Y'all dating okay. for months. Right. Y'all, you know, you feeling her? You're feeling right. mutual? And she says to you, "Listen, mm-hmm. I have this friend. You know, mm-hmm. this happened a long time ago, like you said. Right. Um, but." I really want you to meet him. <laughs> you know, that, that's I not happening. That ain't happening. I'll stop you right there. Listen, that ain't so happening. Why? I don't want to meet home. Nah. Before, and they moved past it. They knew that it was a time. Like, right. They, and they why? could keep why? that shit on. They could keep that shit on Facebook. They could keep oh, that shit not every once in a while. I was not fucking with it. I just want to oh, say I'm, Oh, Jeannie, you know, you, you know, I'm man enough to, to, to say it all. Like, I'm not going to never front. I'm always going to keep it a buck. I'm always going to keep it a buck. But that's the reality of relationships. We have to be really set in stone on what we will tolerate and what we won't and what we, you know what I mean? What we want, like, period. Like, don't try, when I find that girls do that, like, they, when they first start talking to a guy, they have very, two girls, they are very like, oh, I don't, I'm not that type of girl. I'm not that type of girl. (laughs) Oh, my God, it's preached. Preach. It's like, oh nigga, you you got me fucked up. <laughs> Preach. 
But you told Preach. me you wasn't that kind of girl. You you told See? me you, that you wasn't you that wasn't gonna bother you. Like it does bother you. See? So I'm not I, fronting. Mm, Women uh-huh. shouldn't front. Women oh my gosh. I I, I I Queen, I salute you on that comment right there. Cause I say that all the time. All the time. I I, I said that last on the man cave was talking about that and you know some women took what i said the wrong way or felt the way but i'm so it's so it's it's very refreshing to hear a a, a woman a queen say that because i feel that a lot of women they do that and that causes problems down the line and i'm so honest and upfront like i'm an upfront dude i don't be behind the bush i'm very forefront and a lot of women do that they put on that face for the first 30 to 60 days, which I call the mm-hmm. illusion phase. I call you know. it the, his representative because it's definitely there we go. That's, that's what they do. They put it on and then six months down the line, it's like, that's why I feel when you first get in to know someone, don't talk about your past relationship on what that person did wrong and what you I didn't like about them. The oh my God, I say it all. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it because it, it then now that person you trying to get to know, they're going to front somewhat in, in those same areas that you said you didn't like about that last person or pissed you off. They're going to front and try their damnness not to be that. Exactly. I agree with you. I agree 100 percent because you're giving them it. Initially, what it is, is you're giving them you know, this information and mm-hmm. you're not, it's it, what the information is essentially doing is trying to, it's, they're trying to make it seem like I'm nothing like that person, you know, exactly. so they're, yep. they're not letting their true character come out because they're so busy trying not to be. And there's so, I feel like there's so much to talk about. Why do we have to talk about the last person that we were with? There's Thank so you. much to talk about. Yes, yeah. so much. Let's talk about politics. Let's talk about retirement plans. Like, what we want to do when we stop working. Let's talk about other things. Not talk not, and and bashing our former relationship or partners is just not healthy in a new relationship. Yes, it's not. exactly. It's not. It's to not. Seek help of others, especially someone at the time that you did love, that you did have a loving relationship with. It's just not the coolest thing to do. And I don't. I don't, when a guy, you know, talks ill of his child's mother or uh, his ex-wife or a woman that he was with, that's a turn off to most women. Exactly. Women who exactly. Know, a woman who knows who she is, that would be a mm-hmm. turn off. A woman who's mm-hmm. still searching, you know, looking for uh, reassurance in different things, that would be like, oh, she said, he says she's terrible because I know I'm better than her. You mm-hmm. know, that would, that would be her ammunition but That's a right. woman who knows who she is like you don't want to really i don't really want to talk about your your ex like no exactly your ex is your ex for a reason right that's all but that's time, all that was your money that was your main exactly you should, respect, you should respect that at that time because That's right. i don't I, I feel like it's it's wrong to just totally right. erase erase everything about the yes. person Exactly, because it didn't work out, mm-hmm. like, especially mm-hmm. if, right, because it didn't work out, especially if you have children by that person. Right. That's just really, uh, that's that's really a red flag, and if you are dating somebody who has children by another person, and they're constantly downing them and dogging them and, you know, degrading their name, you might want to take a step back and really really, you know, observe that situation if that's the best, you know, relation, if that's the best person that you want to get in a relationship with because that says a lot about that person and how that person is going to deal with this other person who is going to be a part of their life for 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 life because they have children together. It then exactly. in return, it, it tells you how they deal with that child when it comes to that mother or that father. It also tells you how they, how they, if there's no respect for a child's mother or a child's father, and and it's not no grounded reason, 
and it's just constant. You know, if they can't give you a grounded reason, like I understand if it's a situation where that that father or that mother is just not taking care of the child and give you hell on wheels, something like that. OK, that would be a discussion. I would understand that. But if it's just because y'all got y'all personal issues, then I don't, that's 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 a red flag. That's a red flag. I agree with that a hundred percent. I agree, and those are the those are the things that I wish that I could be. You know how um, they say if you could be a fly on the wall. Mm-hmm. Those are the things that I wish that I could be a fly in the wall with these new mm-hmm. relationships. To be like, um, hello, red flag. Mm, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello, red flag. <laughs> Red flag. You know, like <laughs> these are the things that I'm talking about. These are the things that you have to be really conscious and mindful of. Listen, yes. don't just listen to people when they talk. You have to really listen. You yes. have to listen. You got to read yes. between the lines. If mm-hmm. you are with a man that's constantly calling his ex a bitch, eventually you're going to be a bitch. That's a fact. That's a fact. That is a super fact. Super fact. I totally agree with that. Yep. I totally agree with that. Well, I mean, let me ask you, how do you feel about when it comes to the point of, well, this piggybacking off of what we said about someone coming into um, someone's life who have kids. How do you, when, when do you feel is the right time to introduce you should to you for you to introduce someone to your child as a as a mother on the mother side. I'll I'll talk on a man, but from a mother, when do you feel the right time to introduce someone to your children? You know, I I have a, I'm really like a very liberal kind of woman, mm-hmm. so I would say that I hear a lot of women say, you know, I don't want different men around my 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 children and yada yada, mm-hmm. which I. Like you can't be in a home, you're a single mother and you bring in different men into your home because right. you put your children at risk for different things. We see it on the news every day, especially with mm-hmm. small children, you know, with these boyfriends and all of that stuff. But I mean, like, I feel like if you are the time for for when you bring a man around your kids and your family is when you know he not there to play and he has mm-hmm. to prove that. Like mm-hmm. if you're not there to play and you ready to settle down, you know, the signs are there. That would be the time where you come around my family. Other than that, around my children. Other than that, you you know, my children would listen. You would be like a ninja. You nobody would see you. Nobody would know you was there. You feel me? You're like Jackie Chan in this motherfucker. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. You are there. You know, like that's how I feel. I feel, I feel like women be so thirsty at times for one yeah. end something that a man is not ready for you know mm-hmm. he would have to it would have to be him to say yes. to you it should have to be to be like listen i'm ready to meet your kids mm-hmm. you know i'm meet your family when a, if a man and i say that again mm-hmm. uh, man, not a male a man, uh, man who a say man. that to you, you know that's a real man but it shouldn't have to be you to be like, oh, we've been dating three months. I think it's time for you to meet my kid. No, it shouldn't be like that. And well, that was my next. It does. Well, that's what I was going to ask next. Do you feel certain time stamp? Like, do you feel okay in three months? I'll be ready. Six months. Do you feel a certain uh, after a certain time stamp no. that person is ready to meet your child? <laughs> Especially not in the day and age of texting. Motherfucker, uh-huh. good morning, beautiful. And he think that you know, you think what? That now it's time for him to meet your family? Hell no. People are so disconnected in this day and age. Like, no, there is no time frame that I can say. If you could, you because people be in relationships for six months and been on two dates. I'm sorry, yeah. I hear it all the time because You're they right. text me. You cannot yeah. know someone through text. That's bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, and it, and it happens sometimes. Sometimes you, I swear that we living in the day, that day and age of the emoji. You, 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 yes. you send a couple of, uh, oh, good morning, beautiful, kissy face, right. kissy face. She be like, oh my god, he loves me, he loves right. me. You don't right. see that? He, he sent the emoji with the eyes. Yeah, yes. be like, he sent the emoji yes. with the heart eyes. Oh, he's yes. feeling me. 
Yes, and I always say if if some people laugh could, about it. if you could text if you could text somebody LOL and not really laugh, what does the what the <laughs> don't mean, dumb emojis don't mean shit to me. Like, you that know what I'm saying? Yeah, dumb that's emojis right. mean nothing to me. I mean, I know when they're genuine. When it's a genuine person and you speaking to someone, your friend or to an acquaintance, mm. and it's genuine, and it's no nobody trying. You know, you know when it's genuine. Yeah. But when when you deal it, when you're getting to know someone, this mm-hmm. is the advice that I give to most single women, and I say it all the time. If I was single, if I was single, my text would not work for the guy that I'm talking to. You cannot text me. I don't have that on my phone. You have to call me. I need to hear your voice. I need mm-hmm. for you to call me. I mean, mm-hmm. don't get me wrong. When I say you can't text me, of course, you can text me, good morning, hope you have a great day. Things like right. that. Very right. short things. But I'm talking about people be falling in love. In love with text, the text. With yes. full-blown conversations over text. And it's yes. okay if you're having both. Uh-huh. If you're on the phone sometimes and you're via text, sometimes that's mm-hmm. fine. But when your relationship is solely based on him liking your Facebook and Instagram pictures and texting, right. you're you're delusional. You're delusional. Very delusional. Very delusional because, I mean, and I, I, I say too, like, if the only communication you have with a person is through text and, and y'all supposed to be in a relationship, ding, 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 that's another red flag. Think right. of, if, if the person only able to text you but not able to really talk to you on the phone, nine times out of ten, he got another woman or he got a wife, and it's more convenient for his ass to text you as opposed to have a conversation with you because his wife and his kids is there or he's with his girl a lot, and they probably won't even – they probably won't think – it's less suspicion for a motherfucker to text as opposed to be on the phone with you. Like, you got to start thinking about these things because it's so easy, like – Technology makes it easier to cheat. Oh, that's why not, that's my relationship and the divorce rate is so high. Not only yes. because of the sex, the society and technology combined is the reason, and I'm convinced of that. You know, yeah, there's nobody I, I agree. Otherwise, that's not even up for discussion. Like, nobody yes. should come and even argue and say, oh, well, this, that. No, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. It started with my space. That shut you up. Go. Oh, yes. And we all know the my, the MySpace jump off rate ratio was crazy high. Crazy. The MySpace crazy. jump off ratio, oh my gosh, it was crazy high. You just you just gave me a couple of flashbacks, Gene. <laughs> I knew you come back, Cal. Come back. Now. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I was just thinking thinking of my my, my MySpace inbox and the messages. I'm sorry. Come back. Come back. I'm, I'm coming back. I'm, I'm coming back. I'm sorry. See, my space, my space, yeah, that shit started it all. And after that, like, it's, it's, it's crazy. I, I say that all the time, though. If you only speak to your man during text, you might want to, uh, you know, you might want to reevaluate that, um, that relationship. Because, and then it's also where people get it twisted, too, where you have friendships and you have relationships. A lot of people, a lot of people, men and women, mix up the two. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You treat you a relationship to, a certain way. Clear line. Yeah. Clear line. Yeah. Clear line. Yeah. They I mess believe, it up. You, I believe in my former life, I was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! If I was, if I was a, you was a dude. I, I, yo, you know what? The way me and you kick it, I, I agree with you, man. <laughs> Let me tell you, I believe I was, I was a dude in my former life, and I, you know, I always say because I believe in reincarnation. I say if I come back, I still want to be a woman, but I just want to be a different kind of woman. I want to, I want to have the wisdom that I have mm-hmm. that I had in my older age when I was much younger. Even though I feel like I was you know, always, you know, what's the word? I was always wise, you know, for my, for my year, in my younger years. Like I was wise. I got you. Right. Uh, teenager. But I do feel like, dang, if I knew all of that, like right now, yeah. I'd be in a different space, you know? So I agree with you that. I a few chances to do this thing over. Right. If I, if I can take with me the knowledge mm-hmm. that I have. I'd be a different kind of woman, you know? Right. 
And right. I, but I know I, 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 I with that too because I might come back a dyke. Got to be careful. I, be well, careful. see, I, I, I'm about to say, like, shit. <laughs> yeah, I was, <laughs> yo, I'm saying, I mean, because if I came back, if I came back as a female, I would be a dyke. And I ain't just talking about, like, I would be Cleo set it off. Cone rolls, a, a bad, bad woman on my side. Like, I would be a dyke because I, I, I'm i sorry. I No, I don't, nobody's going to be pounding my pussy. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, Kyle. You're so terrible. No, I'm saying a nigga pull that shit out. Then your GD, a nigga pull that shit out. I'll be like, what you about to do with that? <laughs> I like the same shit you like, motherfucker. You said, I was looking at shorty, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I get it. I get it. But I'm just saying, I just think that I feel like we, we're, we're, um, I wouldn't want to change, you know, the era that I was born in and the way I came up for nothing. Like, I wouldn't right. change it because I feel bad for, you know, this, this, the generation that's coming up because they, they just, the things that excite them, the things that they get excited about is just like, yeah. wow, you guys get excited yeah. over a guy like in every single one of your pictures. Wow. Right. I get excited yeah. over my going into your DM, sliding into your DM, and that yeah. that shows you. Oh, okay, wow, yeah. you know, it's so true. It's, like, it's terrible. And, it's terrible. And, and on top of them, on on top of that, they actually go in competition off of who could get the most likes. So in return, they doing a whole bunch of degrading stuff. Right. To see who could get the most likes and oh, no, that's, that's the winner. Another show. Another show. You can't <laughs> do that. Because you know I'm gonna okay. go in on that one. On I that know you one, are. I'm gonna go in. So we're not even gonna we're not even gonna tease them and start talking about that. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Let let's I'm, go back to I think where we both agree that you have to be one secure motherfucker to accept mm-hmm. that your 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 significant other has a friend. Or friends of the opposite sex. Yes, yes, you definitely have to be secure with yours. That's why anyone and they, you know, they tease me about they, 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 they get on me about this all the time in the man cave. They say that I'm so damn New York, and okay. you know the <laughs> yeah, they say I'm so damn New York, and the type of women I like or whatever. You know, I like the edgy type of women or the women that got a little crazy in them or the women that's a little rough like my cave brothers tease me about that all the time so but it's true like mm-hmm. i can't you know like yeah it's, it's true genie it's true and this is this this is you, you see me and genie are good friends right and you see how we both are like this is just the type of women i like him you know I, I i like as as female as friends and you know as women that I'm in a relationship with because you got to be a certain type of woman. I can't, you know, once again, there I go, we can't. I, I'm not attracted to the Susie homemaker, oh, so, like, you so, so prissy and you can't get your hands dirty and, oh, you ain't got that edge or that sassiness. I, I don't, you got to, you got to have that. Like, I'm, right. I get bored with, with the whole like you said, the okay bitch. Oh, the okay, the okay. I get bored with that. Like, I'm more Aquarius. I like the challenge. I like that edge. I like that sassiness. Like, you know, I'm not saying be difficult. No, I'm not saying be difficult. I ain't saying, uh, you know, be demanding or, you know, like everything's a challenge. No, that, that's, that's, that's not even a queen. Because if you like that, you haven't, you haven't reached that queen level yet or whatever. But be challenge me, you know what I'm saying? Have that edge, have that sassiness, have that little, you know, roughness, like, you know, like a woman in the streets, freak of the bed, or all that stuff. I need all that wrapped up in one. Mm-hmm. That's what your mouth say. Soon as you start, right? That's what your mouth say. <laughs> That's what your mouth say. Soon as you start, she crazy, she all types of crazy. Black women don't know when to shut the fuck up. Da 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 da. That's why you just have to be very mindful of the things that you wish and ask for. That's very and, true. Very and true. everything is balanced. You know what I mean? Yes. Everything there we is go. balanced. And I feel like 
that there's a time and a place for that. Because when you challenge a man, when you cha- when a queen challenges a king, it's not to 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 cause conflict. It's to just stand her ground. It should be there to stand go. her ground. Facts. It shouldn't be to cause conflict. That's that's Facts. just my point of view. So and yes, I some agree. people can't differentiate that. They think that, mm-hmm. oh, I'm challenging him. We're going to get into an argument, and that's it is what it is. And, you know, it's going to mm-hmm. be some drama. Like, yes. step away from the drama. It's, you know, Anybody. it's like, no. I'm mm-hmm. saying what I'm saying because this is how I feel about a situation. I'm not mm-hmm. challenging you in the sense to, you know, belittle you. And that's that's another situation. That there we go. Black relationships where women, black women, have this thing where they belittle their men and, you know, make them feel like, you know, there's, Mm-hmm. There's levels to challenge, so be mindful of that. And everybody doesn't know how to do that effectively. Mm. See now, mm-hmm. everything Jeannie just said—that's what I'm saying. That I like in a woman. I just <laughs> said it a man way, but we, we, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> right? What she said? What she said? Yeah. What she said? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No, you're absolutely right, though. You're absolutely right. You should never, never belittle your your significant other or make them feel less of a man or less of a woman. We are supposed to, we supposed to uplift each other. All day, all day, even when we don't feel like it, and that is a compromise right there. That's a, that's yeah, we, not to me. That's not a, considered a sacrifice. That to me is a compromise. It's like, oh, he's getting on my nerves, but he's having a rough day. You know what? I'm going to compromise my feelings right now that he's getting on my nerves to big up my man. And that is a conscious decision. Yes. Yes. And that's the problem. People don't want to make conscious decisions in relationships. And that's why they say Facts. Facts. That's so true. That's so true. Because you you know how they say Love is blind. Love is blind. And if you if you're not if you're not conscious of the certain decisions you're making in that relationship or the certain things that you are sacrificing, you could wake up one morning and won't even recognize yourself. Right. Right. So that being it, said, so mm-hmm. that being said, Cal, I think tonight yep. we came to a few conclusions, wouldn't you say? Yes. Yes, yes, definitely. That we came I agree. to the conclusion that you can get over infidelity. Yes. With time, yes. right? With time, with time. Yep. With therapy, right? Yep, therapy, I agree, yep. With support, with support of your friends and family that you love and you trust. Yes, the day ones, not the messy ones. Not the messy ones. <laughs> not the messy drama <laughs> Yes. But with the people that really understand life and understand that shit happens. Right. Yes. So yes. that that to me is the ma the the major thing that I got out of tonight is that you mm-hmm. can get infidelity. But it has yes. to be a choice. It has to be a conscious decision. Mm-hmm. I agree. You conscious have, decision. To, and no and both and parties have to put in work. Both parties gotta put in work and, and no friends that you done fucked. Or you might get cut oh. to the white meat. No, cut to the white meat. <laughs> 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 cut to the white meat. Cut, cut to the, the white, white meat, meat. GD, Cut him to the white meat, man. God cut damn, GD. Cut him to the white meat. So that being said, you know, th- those are things that we we have to really be conscious of. And you know, it's not, it's not. I'm not saying that to to, to like you said to justify cheating. I'm, what I'm mm-hmm. saying is after the action, what what yes. happens after the action? Yes, and that should be. That should be the focal point. When you yeah. agree to get back together, whoever fault it is, whether it's, yeah. well, whoever whoever fault it is that did the actual cheating, because we also mm-hmm. came to the conclusion the person mm-hmm. who did the cheating is not the only one at fault. That's right, all the time. It's not the only cause. All the time. Right, right. all the time. Because you had to first understand what got y'all to that level to where that person felt they needed to step out right right so the focal point when you get back together needs to be the solution and how can we get past this and how can we heal how can we help each other heal to get past this 
Yes. And that's that's so important. And it is so important. And now, like if somebody comes up to you in the next few weeks or days or whatever and asks you your opinion about something like that, you know, I think that we both learned from each other tonight and I hope mm-hmm. the audience definitely got something out of this conversation instead of you know, and this is this is this is how Cal and I wanted this conversation to go. We didn't yeah. want it to be a conversation about male bashing or, yeah. you know, women bashing, you know, talking about men, yeah. you know, me, but, you know, just about cheating because the men do get the short end of the stick when it comes to cheating. But that is because 99.999% of the time, they are the ones doing the cheating. That's you know there. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> Let me stay focused. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What I was saying is that I'm, no, seriously, I feel like the the conversation, Cal. Would you agree? You know, we wanted to really talk about it in a sense where we didn't bash anyone, and we came out with some real effective ways of getting past. Yes, I told. Yes, I totally agree, and that's exactly the way we wanted it to go because a lot of times. There is a commu- uh, there's the communi- there's a communication gap in that, mm-hmm. and a lot of people lose sight of that. So we definitely wanted to bridge the gap and really, yeah. you know, get people to understand each other more. So yeah, I, I feel it was a great show tonight. This was a uh, this was this was a amazing debut of <laughs> his and hers. Yes, amazing, it was amazing. 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 So, Jeannie, you want to give your shout outs and you want to um, let them know your social media and everything so we can. Yes, well, we can... yes, 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 yes. Let me shout out every every woman in the world right now, mm-hmm. because I just want to, you know, I want to shout out to my queens that are getting up every day and, you know, doing doing a lot of things that normally, you know, they would say that it's not a woman's place. But they're taking on the world and they got the world on their backs and they're still they still find time to look good and and feel good and laugh. And I think it's very important. And, you know, I just want to say, you know, shout out to you guys. And Mother's Day is coming up. I'm a mother of two. And it's really, you know, a mother should sacrifice for their children. Let me be clear on that (laughs) to a certain extent. But I just want to shout you guys out. And my, my IG is my full name, Mayjean Gote, at um, um, IG and on Facebook. It's my full name, um, M-A-D-E-G-I-N-E-G-A-U-T-H-I-E-R. You can follow me and follow my crazy world because it is absolutely crazy. And I just want to shout out Tone for giving me this opportunity and Cal for bringing me on because, you know, he's been trying to get me to do this for years. <laughs> Got you. And I just want to shout you guys out, basically. Okay. I definitely, definitely. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, everybody already know, you know, it's, it's, your, it's your king, you know, Cal Williams looking in the eyes of the king. So I definitely want my social media, everything is Cal Williams. Um, my IG is Cal Williams underscore federal. Uh, Facebook is Cal Williams. And, you know, just want to thank everybody for tuning in and listening. And, to the debut of His and Hers, Tone Deaf Radio presents His and Hers with Cal and Jeannie. So tune back in, you know, make sure you tune in every Monday night, 9.30 to 11.30. Yep. Yes. Tone Deaf Radio, His and Hers. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even... Yeah. We just cooling out, man. Pick up to DJ more on the beat. Uh. Yeah. One, two, yeah. Okay. One, okay. Uh. Uh. So mellow on my own vibe. 
let the breeze blow through and the song rise. Turn up the sound, lace up the whole block to the sound of the raw soul hip hop. The last stop where the music hit the brain cell. The day they won't hear it, but the pure well. Well, let the vibes on the brink cut off on the people like the nose on the strings. I link with my folks through the hope and the notes in the song. It's heaven in the drums, and I'm at the gates with a slave and a cry for the fool. Language of love is the body, soul, jewel. Uh, can make impressions that last But can I keep a conscious and mind on the cash The last few ciphers and the fighters don't notice But they sound stolen and they rhymes so unfocused Yeah, and the jokers just turn Stereotype, burn, Hollywood burn I flow and observe all the signs and the clues And vibe to the sound, let it go, just cool Just cool, get back, take your time Then you yourself and relax your mind Just cool, get back, take your time To the sunset, boogie on to the moon when the sun slept. It's the type of love learned from the first step. Mind, body, and soul when they all connect. I'm on next, no one ever saw me coming on. Told me I would have to switch, but I was on the low. Writing songs for the people who was like me. Fed up with the fun, so wanna be free. A little soul, a little jazz, a lot of truth. Inscribed all my pain and the joy, let it loose. I used to boost me, cause nowadays boost mine. Steady, be serious, trying to see shine. The lines on my paper is the way to my maker. I build on the melody, avoiding all the takers. Uh, and that's word to the breakers. Toppers and the lockers, movers and the shakers. Haters, if you got a lot of energy to take, or leave it all alone, turn it up and on the late. Night rolling in the sound of the blues. Vibe to the sound, let it go, just cool. Yeah. Just relax, y'all. Just relax, y'all. Um, work it out. To the music, moon, the sunshine. However you get it, and it feels good. Vibrate. Just cool and kick back. Take the time. Release uh, yourself and relax your yeah. mind. Just cool and kick back. Take the time. Release uh, yourself and relax your mind. Just cool and kick back. Take the time. Release uh-huh. yourself and relax your mind. Just cool and kick back. Take the time. 